Sandra, I want to come to you on this. According to the Book of Mormon, only fools believe that the Bible alone is a sufficient spiritual guide. 2 Nephi 29, 6 states, Thou fool, thou shalt say, A Bible. We have got a Bible and we need no more Bible. Okay? Joseph Smith, the founder of the LDS Church, said about Christians, they're ignorant translators, careless transcribers, designing and corrupt priests who have committed many errors. Now, when you look at that, you say, okay, let's check out what is the Book of Mormon then, because the Book of Mormon is supposed to be this perfect book. Tell me, first of all, what is the Book of Mormon for people that don't know? Well, the Book of Mormon purports to be the story of an Old Testament prophet named Lehi, who, with his family, immigrate to America just after 600 B.C., and they come over here and set up a group of Israelites who supposedly keep the law and they are faithful to follow God. Uh, then it follows this family's um, growth into nations and through to their great final battle about 420 or so AD when uh, most of the righteous people are killed off leaving just the uh, dark sinful people which be are later identified as the um, American Indian. And that, uh, so the Book of Mormon ends about 421 AD. But that whole period is supposed to be about God's dealing with the people in America, just as God dealt with Israel in the old world. Uh, so they receive scripture, their prophets go out in the land, predict coming doom uh, in the Book of Mormon. Jesus comes over here after his death on the cross. He appeals, appears to the American people to uh, tell them of the true gospel. So it is uh, truly another book of scripture. But once you accept that, then you've accepted Joseph Smith, which leads you to believe the rest of Mormonism. But the Book of Mormon is claiming to be a historical book on par with the Bible. Yeah, and you have all these civilizations that basically lived here on North, uh, the North American continent. And uh, when you say, okay, we've had civilizations in Greece and Rome that go back uh, thousands of years and uh, even in Jewish history, and you can go back to, uh, you know, 2000 BC, even before that, to Ebla and those kinds of things that are, are further back than that, and you can find artifacts of those civilizations. Right. Now, according to the Book of Mormon, we should have a ton of physical material such as? Yes, well, the, the Book of Mormon people supposedly built great cities, so there should be those cities left over, at least some kind of remnant of the cities. Now, the Mormons will point to the Mayan ruins as some sort of evidence, evidence of an advanced civilization, but those are Mayan. They aren't Christian Jews. So the problem is, for, for the Mormon, where are the artifacts for the Book of Mormon story that relate to those people? And they don't have them. The Book of Mormon uh, claims to have these great cities. We don't find them. We don't find any artifacts of their way of life. Uh, they supposedly had chariots and horses in their battles. No evidence of chariots and horses here in the Americas. They had steel swords. There's no evidence of that kind of level of metallurgy here in the Americas. All the way through, you find these problems to make the Book of Mormon history. With the Bible, you can learn Hebrew and Greek and do your own translation, but no one knows the language for the Book of Mormon people. There's no sample of their writing. Well, Joseph Smith made a little piece of paper called the Anthem Transcript, where he gave a sample of supposedly the writing on the Book of Mormon plates, but no sample of that writing has ever been found. When Mormon missionaries have come by my house, or other folks' houses. I've heard them say, you know, the archeological evidence for the Book of Mormon is overwhelming. I mean, it's outstanding. All you have to do is check it out. Yet, Dr. Wilder, one of your colleagues at Brigham Young put it this way, no one has found any inscriptional evidence for or material remains that can be tied directly to any of the persons, places, or things mentioned in the Book of Mormon. All right. When you look at what has been found across the world, has there been anything that's been found? No. In fact, the Mormons can't even decide where the story happened. You uh, will not find the Mormon Church putting out a map for the Book of Mormon lands. Uh, 
they won't commit themselves to a location because there's no artifacts. And if they state that it was here or it was there, then you would know where to dig and you would expect to find something. You don't go to Temple Square in Salt Lake City and go to a museum that has artifacts for the Book of Mormon. There's just nothing there. 